Etrachan saw it. I'm Yuzuria. I live with my husband, Hideki. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. I'm fine now. Morning sickness is over. I'm pregnant with the baby, and it should be due in about four months. Oh? It's from Mom. Hey, Mom. What's up? Oh, Yasuria. I had a call just now. It was from Akane's mom. And? She wants to apologize to you. Akane and I were classmates in middle school. We were just acquaintances. In 8th grade, something happened that completely changed the course of our relationship. Ah, my bad. I'm more into girls like Yuzuriha. <laughs> it all started when the boy Akane asked out turned her down and mentioned my name instead. From that day on... Stop looking this way, ugly! You're driving me crazy! Seriously, get out of my sight, bitch! Akane's bullying began. Calling me horrible things was common. She would hide or break my belongings. Throw my bag out the window while I was in the bathroom. Tear up my notebooks and textbooks. And even put dead insects in my shoes. She would bully me to no end. Bringing it up to the teachers. Well, as long as she's not hurting you physically. But I guess it can't be helped, right? You have a bit of a conceited attitude about being cute. Maybe if you fix that, they'll naturally stop, don't you think? <gasps> It didn't help at all. If anything, it turned me hopeless realizing the fact that no one was on my side. How come? I didn't do anything wrong. Why do I have to go through this? The train will arrive shortly. Please stand behind the yellow line. <gasps> Etra Station. Etra Station. But if I were to die, Mom and Dad would be hurt. With that in mind, I continued to go to school. I couldn't tell my parents about what was happening at school because I didn't want them to worry. Hey, you haven't been feeling well lately, have you? Are you okay? Is something up? No, I'm fine. But I regret it to this day. Had I told them earlier, <laughs> <laughs> what now? Throw some soup over it. What a pervert. <laughs> Look, she's running. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. I was about to go insane. Why don't I just... Just... Yuzuri... Yuzuria! Yuzuria! You... Yuzuria! Thank goodness! And when I woke up... The school found out what had happened, and my homeroom teacher was dismissed on disciplinary grounds. And the group of bullies led by Akane were transferred to a different school. I was sent to my grandparents' house for a while and went to school there. I could barely go to middle school after that, though. After that, I went to college and got a job. I met my current husband through an acquaintance and got married. Here we are now. I wasn't sure whether to tell you or not, but... This is your call. Why is she suddenly apologizing? Is there something going on behind my back? Well, I heard she's in the terminal stage of breast cancer. Huh. So, before she passes, she wants you to visit the hospital so she can apologize what she did to you. Yuzuria, you don't have to say anything if it's too hard. I'll tell her that you declined. Wait. It's okay, Mom. I'll go. But... It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
You're really going? Yeah. I'm worried. Let me go with you. Thanks, Hideki. But it's okay. Just wait in the car for me. All right. Take it easy. Mom? <laughs> Yasuria! It's been a while, Akane. Y you came. Listen, I'm really sorry about what happened. This must be karma. I don't even have three months left to live. I regretted it every night. It was a terrible thing to do. I... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Yasuria. Please forgive me. <laughs> I forgive you. R really? You forgive me? Yeah. I'm glad. So... You really think... I would say that. Aren't you lucky? What? What a strange coincidence. I was thinking about you every night, too. Every night. I was wishing you death. Every night. I can see right through you. You're not here to apologize. You're just scared of going to hell. Uh, no. You were hoping this apology would make you sleep better at night. Hoping the gates of heaven would open for you. Am I right? No, that's... Too bad. You're not going to heaven. If you really wanted to apologize, why didn't you come to me even if you had to crawl? Uh, uh... Hey, how do you feel now? Huh? Hey? Stop! I'm asking you to forgive me! I'm apologizing! You know, I'm going to die! I can't even have kids like you! Forgive me for the last time at least! Hey! Shut up. Hurry up and go to hell. Piece of shot. Uh... Oh! Yuzuriha, you alright? Yeah. I said everything I wanted to say. I feel better now. That's good. Let's go home. Yeah, let's get some cake on the way. If in the future, if our own child were to become a victim of bullying, we would do everything in our power to protect them. In the unlikely event that they become the perpetrator, I will tell them my story. Let's do our best to raise them good. Yeah, let's be happy. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。いじめる側は怒りなど一時の感情でやったことでも受けた側は一生残る傷になってしまいます。どれだけ罪深いことをしたのか、大人になって気づいても後の祭りになりますし、やらないことが一番です。過去の行いを反省することは大切ではありますが、今回のように被害者から許されるとは限りませんから、皆さんはどう感じましたかコメント欄に書いていただけると嬉しいです。また、いじめダメ絶対と思った方、チャンネル登録と高評価をお願いい